So for my first magic trick, I want someone in the audience, how about you, sir, to think of any fruit, any vegetable that you can imagine. All right, please, now, call it out. Guava. Well, that would have been really amazing. I, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. So when I get into trouble like this, <laughs> yes, yes, there it was. Banana was first. I heard that. Thank you. Should have gone with you. So when I get into trouble, I go to my favorite friend, Siri. So let me see if I can come up with something better. Hello, Siri. Hello, Adam. All right. Can you teach me a magic trick? I found 32,241 tricks that I can teach you using ordinary objects in your vicinity. Nice. Awesome. What objects do you have nearby? I have a banana, a cloth napkin, I have... Perfect. We'll use the cloth napkin and the bandana. <laughs> Actually, it's a cloth napkin and a banana. Correct. A bandana. No, uh, Siri, Siri? Pick up it's... the bandana. Now fold the bandana in half. <laughs> now fold it one more time. <laughs> Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. Remember to keep your hand held in a natural position. <laughs> this is called palming. Okay. Open up the folded bandana. Show the audience it's a regular bandana by waving it up and down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pick up the cloth napkin and gather the corners together, forming a makeshift bag. Using your free hand, fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier and drop it into the bag. From the outside of the napkin, Squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. What the audience doesn't see is that you never put the bandana into the napkin at all. <laughs> you really kept it in your left hand. Remember palming? No. <laughs> now make a magical gesture. For the big finale, fling open the napkin and receive your well-deserved applause. <laughs>